All right, so I just opened up YouTube on my phone and I saw that Street Fighter 6 Rashid gameplay trailer just dropped. So we're gonna one take Jake this reaction video. Take a look at the Rashid gameplay trailer. Already I can see it debuts on July 24th. This is before EVO. If Rashid is going to be legal for EVO, that would be pretty crazy. Um, I think most people thought that Rashid was gonna come out after EVO uh, and I, I mean, I just, we gotta watch the gameplay trailer because I feel like Rashid is going to be insane in this game with, with the dry rushes um, and, you know, with all of his, maybe he has V-Skill 2 from Street Fighter V and he looks sick in that image that they showed and yeah, his design is amazing in this game, you can already tell. Yeah, he just looks so cool. Okay, stand me a kick. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's some weird buttons. Oh, nah, he's doing push ups. Throw. Back throw. Air throw. That was a little weird. Okay, he has run into slide, run into overhead. Tornado. DP. I don't know what that was. Bro, I. What? That looked like level one. What? Is he charging up the tornado? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> what? Okay, drive impact level three. No, that's gotta be level two, right? That's his drive rush for the first time. EX tornado. And this is level three, okay. So it looks like level two is the big tornado from uh, Street Fighter V, the V-Trigger one. Okay, so it looks like Rishi is a vlogger now, which makes sense. He was kind of like the tech guy in Street Fighter V. He had like the goggles or whatnot on. And I think the tornadoes are actually made from technology. Okay, that does seem pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead, change the playback speed to 0.5 and just kind of talk about exactly what we're seeing. Break it down a little bit because I didn't completely understand what was happening with all of his um like fireball tornadoes like it seems like the ex one maybe had a special property so that was stand medium kick that stand heavy kick this is a target combo so these are just some normals that he has pretty standard stuff i would say they look a little bit different than their street fighter 5 version but obviously that's fine Lots of characters have slightly different looking normals than they do in, in the previous title. They show his throws, um, forward throw, back throw, air throw. Uh, a lot of characters in this game have an air throw, so that's definitely cool that he has one as well. Run into slide, that's going to be a great tool for fireballs, just getting under a fireball. Um, so it looks like he kind of has like the Kimberly option, except this overhead left him grounded. You can see the... Luke didn't actually get knocked down. So maybe on counter hit. So I think that punished counter. So most likely um, you're going to get a, a combo after this overhead hits. Okay, so this is a fireball. This is his anti-air DP. Maybe it's still a quarter circle forward input. Who knows? And then this move, I think it's his fireball, but maybe a different version. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. So let me take a look at the animation of the original fireball. So right here, that was the run, run overhead. So he's like launching the fireball. This is a DP. I think it's a different version of the fireball, but it's really hard to say. And then maybe this is the heavy version of the fireball and you get a follow up. This is his uh, level one super. It's a side switch, kind of like Kami super. It left him at like a weird state. I'm not sure, maybe he has like a power up effect, but they didn't really show it. I guess like they don't normally show that in the gameplay trailers, but maybe he has like a wind power up effect like Lily does, and maybe that enhances his fireballs in some way. Okay, so this, he was charging up the tornado. I think maybe this is like a enhanced version of the of the fireball that he has. 
and then that allows him to get the follow up. He got EX Eagle Spike into the heavy um, DP. He's got his V Skill One Flip into the EX Dive Kick. Okay, now that I'm seeing the animations more clearly, it makes sense more what's going on. Because I thought he was just spinning around and I had no idea what was going on. This is an activation into um, his Super 2. Basically his V-Trigger 1 from Street Fighter 5. And if you remember from Street Fighter 5, it basically enhances Spinning Mixer. So the EX1 gets a follow-up. You've got basically that same combo in Street Fighter 5. The EX uh, DP into the dive kick. EX Tornado, you get that run follow-up it looks like. And then they do show his CA. We just put that in full speed so we get the full effect of that one more time. Pretty cool looking super. Not too special, I would say, um, other than the fact that Rashid is just a vlogger now. <laughs> Very interesting direction for Rashid, I would say. Overall, this gameplay trailer was really cool. I think in order to be more excited, I kind of got to know exactly what's going on with him, what's going on with the tornado stocks. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely check him out more in the future. We'll definitely play him as well. All right, unfortunately, we failed at one take jaking because I just realized they made a PlayStation blog post. I wasn't sure if they did because I didn't see it in the description of the YouTube video, uh, but here it is. I saw it on Twitter um, and we'll just read through this uh, post. Prepare for the incoming storm. World Warriors Rashida the Turbulent Wind makes his Street Fighter 6 debut in Fighting Ground and the single player World Tour mode starting on July 24th. So he's also going to be in World Tour mode apparently. So um, that's going to be more single player content it looks like. With a whirlwind of moves that will send him flying through each fight, Rashid leaves each or all opponents in the dust unless they decide to like and subscribe. He's definitely a vlogger now, um, first appearing in Street Fighter V. He returns to the series. Um, he starts his journey to become a vlogger, always carrying around his trusty camera to live stream and capture the spirit of strength. So they got his designs right here, pretty cool. Um, pretty cool for sure. Meet Rashid in World Tour, where your avatar can learn his moves, speak to him about his life, and increase your bond with him. Uh, you can max out to get his outfit too. So that's his Street Fighter V outfit. Um, according to Nakayama, his hair and bangs were a challenge and involved a lot of trial and error to get right. We want to emphasize his use of wind and parkour, so we ended up using cloth materials that were thin and fluttering. Since he's a food tuber, if you guys played World Tour mode, you guys know that like basically instead of YouTubers, they got food tubers. Um, you're gonna be an influ influencer on food tube. Um, so that's what <laughs> Rashid is, I guess. I guess he's the first character that is a food tuber. Um, they're saying that he retained much of his previous move set. Uh, character by characterized by parkour and nimble movements. Um, other stuff about his normal moves. Okay, Arabian Cyclone is a new special move that can be used on its own, where Rashid performs a spinning kick, conjuring up a small whirlwind, and can also be transitioned into rolling assault and wind stroke. So he basically has both of his V skills in Street Fighter V that you can perform out of this move. So that's what you were seeing basically off of the follow-ups that he was doing before. I think that means that he has like his regular fireball alongside this because I did see him just send out a fireball. I'm not completely sure, but I think that is the case. Um, as for other additions, V-Trigger 1 is his level 2 super. Rollwind Shot also has the ability to create air currents when held down to charge. So yeah, he definitely can charge his Rollwind Shot as we saw, saw in the trailer. Uh, the OD version of the Arabian Cyclone. You can ride the current to victory. Um, so yeah, all this was shown off in the gameplay trailer, but I didn't know what was going on. So <laughs> it was a little bit hard to say. Uh, Rashid also has a new double jump move. Okay, I don't think they showed that. Finally, Rashid can switch sides with side flip, but she can also be followed up with a front flip to take Rashid into the air once again. Okay, if they showed either of those, I did not see them, I don't think. I definitely didn't see the double jump. I'm pretty sure. I feel like I would have noticed that one. 
Um, but it seems like Rashid's going to have some crazy movement options. Definitely looking forward to seeing more of him, uh, seeing how he's going to be played and actually playing him once he releases on July 24th. Before we get out of here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment saying what you think about Rashid. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.